Hey, what's up, YouTube? John Gotti. Today I'm on Adobe Premiere Pro CS 5.5, and today I'm going to show you guys how to render and also give you guys some good render settings. Now let's get started. Okay, so I imported my clip. I brought it down to the timeline. After you're done bringing your video down to the timeline, it's going to open up in this window. You do all your editing, your color correction, etc. right here. Now the window on the right here is your final product. And as you can see, I added some color correction. Another thing before you render, you want to make sure your marker is at the beginning and at the end of your video because you want to get the full render of your video and audio. Now let's render. You want to go to File, go to Export, and go to Media. Okay, my format is H.264. For my preset, go to the drop down. On top, it's going to say Custom. I titled mine. Next, go to Multiplexer. Multiplexing, you want that MP4? Stream, you want that at standard. For your video, if you're in America, it's NTSC. If you're in the UK, it's PAL. For my width, it's 1280. My height, 720. My frame rate is at 59.94 because I'm using the HDPVR. Go to the drop down. If you're using the DAZ or anything lower, you want a 29.97. Next, my pixels. Square pixels. My profile's at baseline. My level's at 4.1, which is very good. My bit rate, VBR, one pass. For your target, you want to type in 10.27. For your maximum, you want to kick it all the way up to 50. For your audio, you don't have to do anything. Now just click export and you're ready to render. Again, this video was on how to render on Adobe Premiere Pro CS 5.5. I'm John Gotti. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later.